Watcher. Yeah. Yes, I've been buying KTR T-Bots again. <laughs> yes, my latest acquisition arrived the other day. And, um, yeah, uh, it is... Tobot W Shield On. Uh, well, it's referred to as Shield On because of um, this thing. Yeah, he, he arrived the other day. Uh, I've decided I want to get some more Tobots, and this was one of the ones I uh, had my eye on. Uh, quite unusual compared to the others. Uh, he's got a bit more of a realistic looking car mode. Um, now, this is, yeah, according to the box, it's a Kia Ray. Now, I don't think you get these in the UK. I've not seen them in the UK. I've seen similar sort of vehicles. It's like a, a mini people carrier type thing. And uh, it's, it's uh, quite well detailed. It's uh, quite large. Um, what have I got for a size comparison? Uh, you can tell how well I thought this review out because I haven't got anything to hand. Um, all right, <sighs> size comparison. Here he is next to uh, Toy World's Orionville. There you go. <laughs> As you can see, he's quite a bit chunkier. And th this isn't a small bot by any sense of the imagination. This is like an ultra scale bot. So yeah, look at the vehicle mode. Um, it's made out of this, uh, this nice shiny white plastic. It's got nicely pinned wheels, painted silver. And if you look inside, you can almost see like the disc, like the, the brake disc has been molded in. On all four wheels, it's got like these sort of pink, you know, like purplish transparent lenses front and rear. Got a nice chrome get grill, Kia badge, Tobot logo there, another Kia badge, Tobot logo there. You've got the slot in the back for the uh, the tow key, and little little lenses there. Underneath, it's all scrunched up robot junk, and then you've got the what the, the shield on bit now this guy is referred to as the shield on version and in some of the the later series of Tobots I mean this guy gets introduced in season 7 episode 15 when he, he appears for the first time and uh, yeah they they when they it's usually the evolution Bots. When they go for their evolution, they get this extra mode called a, a, a like a shield on mode, and they they did repaints of X and Y in shield on versions. And this guy is supposed to be his shield on version, but actually, the strange thing is, uh, as I've been reviewing the uh, episodes from the series, this is his main colours, the white and the sort of like the uh, the mauve colour, I suppose you could call it. It's kind of like a pinkish purple. Yeah, this is his main colours. The alternative colours for this guy is uh, blue and orange, like the white is blue and the orange and the pink parts are orange. But he doesn't really transform into those colours very much in the series. Only on a handful of occasions does he turn into those colours. Mostly he's in these colours. These are his stock colours. And I don't know why the toy is called a Shield On toy, because the Shield On toys usually have the alternative colour schemes. So that I find a bit strange. Now. The shield on refers to this bit, which is a, a sort of a, like a sounds and lights gimmick. Now, it does unclip from the roof, and it's got a little button which you press, and it, there's a whole host of sound effects, mostly um, uh, voice bites from the character itself, which are actually very good. But more on that later on. Let's just look at the car. It's, uh, like I said, it's got blacked out windows. It's uh, It rolls. very nicely and yeah it's heavy it's chunky it's really really good uh, another thing um, which no well, I'll wait for the robot mode to spoil this you see that like you've got like a split in the front grill because it opens out and there's a little surprise inside but uh, be best wait till robot mode before I do that anyway being a tow bot it's got a little port for the tow key and here is a tow key. There's a little transparent thing, and as you can see, it's got the letter W on it. So yeah, to start you, you to start the transformation, you insert the tow key, and then you turn it. And all it does is it just starts. It just splits the the back pieces. Now this guy has got quite a 
interesting, intuitive, and fun transformation. I've uh, uh, played with this guy quite a lot since I opened the package earlier on, and uh, actually, I'm, I'm really getting into this guy. So let's get into the transformation. Um, best thing to do is, I suppose, he is very, very tightly pegged together, and there's a lot of pegs and clips inside that uh, hold his car mode together. So you kind of split the legs at the back, take the unclip the roof panel, like so, and then then you unclip the rear doors, and that means you can start start bringing the legs down. Then take these pieces, they're on a, like a double hinge here, and they fold around. And then there's a little wing thing that flips out. Same on this side, fold it round, flip out the little wing thing. And then underneath he's got heel spurs that pop out of his feet. And that's the legs pretty much done. Now, the top part, the doors. You unclip, unclip the door, yeah. unclip it from the the, uh, the windows, and then flip them up, unclip the door, flip that up, and you come round to here, and you can see you're starting to pull out the shoulders, you then flip up these screen bits and then you suppose you can sort of fold that up but don't clip it in just yet because there's a, there's a well I suppose I can do this feature now, there's a little button here, you see it, if you press it, it unlocks his wings and these wings come out and there's these little bits you fold out of the wings and then you can fold that up and peg it into his back and that's basically the back done getting back to the front pull the waist down unclip the bonnet fold it forward clip it in and then the arms fold these bits round and then pull out the fists which are on these sliders and there he is Tobot W in his robot mode and he's pretty cool actually I, I really like this guy very colorful um, even though I've been looking on the the CGI model and there are some paint apps that are missing like in the CGI model these bits here are red he's got grey bits on the arms there, these bits are pink, uh, there's, a, there's a pink bit behind his front grille, loads of little things like that, uh, also the wings on the back, these bits are pink, so that they have missed a number of paint apps, it's not entirely accurate with the CGI model, but if it was completely accurate with the CG model then it'd have a damn sight more articulation than it's actually got, because being a towbot, this guy is sorely lacking in articulation. That's the one thing that kind of lets it down. But aesthetic-wise, this guy is amazing. He looks fantastic. He's very, you know, lots of things going on. I mean, in case you haven't guessed, this guy is a flying bot. He flies. That's his main gimmick in the show. He's the only towbot that can fly. Well, at least until the later episodes when you get like Tow Towbot W gets his adventure mode and turns into a helicopter. But he's one of the, he, he can fly. And because of this, you know, in, you know there's, there's a few episodes where this, this comes to his advantage, especially the season where he gets introduced. That's when the Raptor bots first appear and start causing mayhem. They can fly. So you need a, a flying tow bot to combat those. And that's basically what Towbot W does. Now, Tobot W has his human companion. Um, now, if you look on the box, there they are. There's two of them. It's the the boy in the red hat is his main one, and his his little sister is the uh, the girl in the orange. 
Um, I'm not quite sure what their names are because it's it's difficult to hear what their names have been said on the Korean version. I know they have English names, but the English names are totally different to their Korean names, and I'd rather call them by their Korean names. But anyway, now the little thing I was saying about earlier about the grill. Um, when he transforms, the boy, I don't know what his name is, sits inside, and then when he transforms, he that he he. he the cockpit, you know, the, the, the interior of the car transforms into a cockpit and then goes down into his chest. And if you open his chest, I don't know whether this will show up on camera, you can see <laughs> they're inside, both of them. It's one of those, um, those sort of funny uh, stickers that, depending on which angle you look at it, depends on what, what uh, image you see through it. But anyway, so you know that opens up like that. So he, he basically pilots the bot from inside, which is quite unusual. Most of the other tow bots, they do ride in them when they're in their vehicle mode, but when they're turned into robot modes and they're, they're fighting the bad guys, then they're, they're stood by the, the side with their you know, wrist-mounted communicator and they're barking out instructions to them. But yeah, very cool looking bot. Um, articulation um, very limited uh, the head moves a little bit from left to right not much no forwards and back uh, the arms they only go out that far one click the shoulder goes all the way around but this wing kind of gets in the way elbow got a 90 degree at the elbow no bicep swivels no surprise there then it is a toe but after all they don't do you know bicep swivels and fire swivels <laughs> nah, don't bother with that crap no waist hips leg goes forward two clicks comes back you know that far it does come out a little bit not quite uh, ain't going to be doing any van dams in this bot and then you've got the knee which actually does go to 90 degrees with a ratchet so kind of hampered articulation very restricted which is a bit of a shame but that's just a tow bot I'm afraid you know most tow bots are like this but this guy makes up for it with all these other sort of wings and things going on and you can sort of get it into some poses it looks good um, one of the gripes I've got in the show he's got a gun which um, well when you first see him use it he's, he's shooting paintballs out of it but uh, I think it uh, it's, a, it's a, a web gun or an ice gun it shoots something um, I think it's an ice gun and uh, I, he doesn't come with a gun which is unfortunate. You'd have thought he'd have come with a gun, seeing as he, he uses one quite a lot. Which is unlike the car bots. The car bots all come with guns, and yet you hardly ever see them use them. In the sh you never see them using guns in the show, apart from car bot sky, and it's just a glue gun. So yeah, he didn't come with a gun, which is unfortunate. Now, but what he does come with is the backpack. Now, the backpack can fit on his robot mode. You have to pull the, the butt flap down. So you flip that like that. And then he has two little pegs on the back of there which clip into his shoulders like like so. And then and there's some tabs on his back and and then that tabs in very securely like that. So now he's got this backpack on, which looks like a jetpack. But that's not all it does. You have to put batteries into it. And it's got a little button on it. And it's got some little blinking LEDs. And it has a number of voice sound bites of the character from the show. Now these are very clear, and there is a lot of them. I mean, I've, I've sort of gone through, I don't think they cycle, it's, they're, they're kind of random, but there seems to be quite a lot of them, and he says a number of quotes from the show, but uh, here we go. And 
and if you listen to him he has this um this thing whereby whenever he speaks the last sort of syllable of whatever he spoke he repeats three times in like a like a diminishing echo these by the way <laughs> I'm trying to get some of the good ones the uh, reference of the when he fires his eyes gun he goes ice gun 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 come on where is it That's a reference to when he's at a flying bot. He goes, Toba W, take off! And uh, he takes off into the sky. So, yeah, as you can hear, there's loads of sound bites on this thing. Absolutely loads of them. Um, and I, could, I could be here for ages going through them and, you know, for you to hear them all. But, yeah, there we go. Tobot W, he's actually very good. Um, he's big. Uh, let's get the... Uh, the usual size comparison out, Combiner Wars Megatron, as you can see he's slightly bigger, a lot bulkier than Combiner Wars Megatron. And uh, I paid about, was it, just under 35 quid for this, shipped from Korea. A um, lot of bot for your money. Again, lacking articulation, that's just you know, tow bots and car bots in a nutshell. They just don't have the same range of articulation that this thing has. And hopefully in time they will cotton on that maybe people like to collect these things and want a bit more articulation so they can pose them and play with them in, in certain ways. So maybe, you know, Young Toys and uh, Sonicon will cotton on to this and start putting new joints into theirs and strangely enough there's a new brand of a new brand of towbot toys that have just been announced literally this last week it's called Aflon and it's a it's like a, a spin-off of the towbot series where you have these these racing cars there's three of them so far there's a red one a blue one and a yellow one towbot um, um, Aflon Alpha Beta and Theta and they're as big as these things um, look really cool well, apart from uh, fate of the yellow one doesn't look too good they have this gimmick with this little little car which is called a mine car which slots into them which i think has the the brain pod that a towbot has which is kind of like a, a, gl a glowing ball with lots of you know, nubs all over it and they've just announced the trailer they've just shown the trailer for the series that's coming with it which looks really interesting looking for looking to get some of those they're just starting to appear on uh, you know on ebay so yeah, plenty for me to be thinking about and getting on with, but uh, as for uh, my uh, Tobot ranks have increased by one. Uh, Tobot W, he's uh, very, very good. I'm very pleased with him. Just, again, shame he just hasn't got the articulation that you know, you, you, you'd like to have on a bot. But apart from that, he's very well made. He's, he's heavy, he's chunky. You know, he's got ratchets on him. He looks great. He's got lots of wings and things and uh, and a really cool you no know, sound box so that's been my review of uh, my ktrt bot here towbot w he's really cool and uh, that's that um just a little thing before i go 
Um, TF Nolsey, if you're watching, this is for you. Because I know you have your uh, anime channel. I've just uh, bought a DVD. <laughs> Kill the Kill Volume 1. Uh, I've been watching clips of this show on YouTube because I wanted because a lot of people are really into this series. I wanted to see what it was about. Watch some clips on YouTube, and it the violence and the anime style in this is reminds me very much of Garan Lagan, and I I absolutely love Garan Lagan, so I thought I'm going to give this guy a go. So I've ordered all three volumes off Amazon. The first one arrived the other day. I haven't opened it yet, but. Uh, that's something I'll be looking forward to watching very soon. So, yes, anime watch. Um, yeah, uh, got another KTRT bot that was supposed to have been delivered yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, it got a customs hit. Mm, a bit, quite a big one, and uh, it's a big bot from Korea that I bought off the G Market, and it's a bot that I really wanted. And uh, it's got a customs hit. I've been really lucky this year. I haven't had any customs hit. This is the first one, but it always seems to be the bigger, more expensive car bots that seem to get customs hit. So that will be arriving on Tuesday. Um, but I will do a review on that because I've been really waiting for that one. But anyway, that's me for now. I will say goodbye and uh, hope that you'll join me next time. Ta da!